What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to share with you 10 hidden features in Reason. If you go up to Window at the top of the screen and you go to Manage Content, you may have some stuff that you have not downloaded yet. So that includes the Drum Supply, Loop Supply, Radical Piano, Clang, Pangea, and Humana. So definitely double check that. Make sure you don't have any content that you're missing out on. The next thing I would like to show you is up here, File. What you're going to do is go to Song Information. This is going to allow you to take notes in your song, all right? So text in, window, title, more information. You can even add uh, cover art if you would like to, and your website. Any information you want to put in here, you can put in here. Keep track of things in your song. Uh, you know, side tip or bonus, there are some free rack devices in, um, in the, in the Reason Studio shop made by Jiggery Pokery and they are TMA1 Combinator, TMA4 and 9, and these are just different devices that allow you to take notes within the rack. The third feature is the CV programmer on VSTs. Now, I know a lot of us utilize CV within rack extensions, but we may not do it as much with VSTs. So keep in mind, we can do that here. If you want to know about control voltage, I have the video for you. Definitely check it out. I'm going to throw it up in the cards. So go watch that. It's, it's going to teach you so much about control voltage, everything you need to know about control voltage. All right. The next thing I would like to talk about is Ableton Link, and you probably see this little thing right here. Now, Ableton Link allows you to sync Reason with other devices. You can even sync it up with someone else's computer while they're using Ableton Live. Anything that supports Ableton Link, you can do this with. And this leads me into my fifth hidden feature, which is Reason Compact. If you don't know about Reason Compact, Reason Compact is... 100% compatible with Reason as it is made by Reason Studios. Now I can play this in time with my beat and make melodies on my phone. If someone wanted to collaborate with me and they had Reason Compact, I can hook them up and we can simultaneously produce. All right, now here I can start drawing my notes in. Alright, so as you can see, it was really easy to get something going and work in tandem with Reason Compact. And Reason, as I said before, you could also do this with Ableton Live or anything that can use Ableton Link to sync up signals. Alright? Next feature. Now, in Reason, we're able to add groove to things, which is also known as swing or humanized feel, humanized rhythm. Here in factory sounds, we can go to regroup patches and you'll see we have MPC 60 presets for the groove. Definitely check those out if you're into adding a swing and vibe to your beats. The next tip is pitch edit mode. Now I could take that vocal sample that I have coming out of Loop Cloud, put it into Reason and change the pitch of the phrases however I want to, also the timing. So in, in truth, that tip would include slice edit mode, pitch edit mode, and even mention comp edit mode. So let's go ahead and get that audio clip into Reason here. In pitch edit mode, we can change the pitch of whatever we like to. So. Now the way we would do this is just by dragging the note to wherever we want, so I can move this down to a G. I can move this to a G. 
and I'm not really doing anything that would necessarily make sense. I just want to show you that it's possible. If you want to know how to use pitch edit mode, I have a video for that too. So definitely check out the cards and you can watch it. So you can get some crazy effects or you can do some real pitch edit effects that make sense in the song. Uh, it's all up to you though. <laughs> Alright, the next tip I would like to share with you is the tool window. Let's go ahead and select all of this. I'm going to right click and I'm going to reset the pitch so we don't have no crazy robot sounds going on. Zoom out. Alright, the tool window. Let's select this clip here. These Falcon notes bring up the tool window by pressing F8. All right. Now, right now we're looking at our groove settings, but we can also look here and which we have access to quantize settings, pitch settings, note velocity, note lengths, legato adjustments, scale tempo, alter notes, which will randomize the notes, reverse, automation cleanup, and we can extract notes to lanes, which come in handy when we're working with something like Red Drum or uh, Dr. Octorex or Drum Sequencer or anything like that. All right, so let's go ahead and take this, these notes and we're going to randomize our velocity. So random 20%, we can keep pressing it to keep randomizing it. And you see the colors changing on these notes. That is the process of these notes being randomized. And we could solo this. Come down to note lengths. We could change how long the notes are. We can have them side by side for legato. Turn snap back on. All right, so sky's the limit with the tool window, basically. Next thing I would like to talk about is parallel processing. I'm going to take Sublab. I'm going to create a parallel channel. Just right click, create parallel channel. Here's our parallel. And I'm going to add a compressor. The compressor I'm going to add is called Extreme Dynamics. All right. Going to put it on a peak limiter preset. Shut that down for a second and let's solo the parallel compression, parallel channel. Parallel compression allows us to process our signal without affecting the original. So I can take a copy of that signal, affect it however I want to, and then blend it back in and add some body to our signal or add some more presence. Whatever the case may be, parallel compression is a great tool to have. If you didn't know it existed, now you do. All right, we have this clipping like crazy. So let's bring it down and we'll solo the original. And let's blend this back in. Let's even add a scream to this, go a little bit further. Gonna put it on the tape setting or tube might even be nice. Let's listen to the signal. That sounds good. All right, let's mix that back in. I would add a filter or use this cut off to get rid of some of those highs. Now you probably want to turn it down a bit more. But you know, it's all preference. I would definitely turn it down more once I hear it in monitors. All right, my next tip, a way to automate parameters in Reason without going to the device and right clicking. Really simple, easy way to view all of the parameters that you can automate as well. For example, 
if I want to automate these keys, let's go ahead and duplicate this over here. I can come up to our sequencer and click on this automation button and these are all the parameters I can automate. Likewise, Falcon will show all of the parameters I can automate. Right now it says host automation, but other plugins like Sublab come ready with all the automation named. So it's going to depend on the VST if all of the parameters are named, but you can nonetheless automate pretty much anything inside of the VST. In Sublab, I want to automate the drive. So I'm going to click on that and make sure the distortion is on and it is perfect. So right now it's at 50%. I'm going to make a clip and I want the drive to be higher the second half of this clip. So zooming in, actually going to make this about here and just click a point. And let's see how this sounds the second half. And we'll see it move up. Very subtle difference, if at all, because we do have that parallel channel in. But keep an open mind as to what you can do with this. All right. Last but not least is custom key commands. I've been meaning to set this up since I've installed Reason 11, so let's go ahead and do it together. All right, now I would like to create a key command to be able to open the groove window. I would also like to create a key command to be able to export my song as an audio file. So in order to do that, on a Mac, I'm gonna go in my system preferences, I don't want to update right now. Gonna go to keyboard, click on shortcuts, app shortcuts, reason 11. And I have to figure out what the menu title is. So let's go check that out. And reason, export song as audio file. And you have to type it exactly as it says all the capitals, all the dots. Export song as audio file dot dot dot. And then here's my keyboard shortcut. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to do the Pro Tools command or the Ableton Live command. But since it's reason, I'm going to do a different one. Let's do Shift Command B for bounce. Add that in. And I want to make one more. Let's figure out what the groove show regroove mixer all right cool so let's go ahead and add that show re groove whoops forgot the capital regroove mixer keyboard shortcut i want to follow along the lines of the f8s and sevens and whatnot i'm gonna use f9 show regroove mixer and you know just one more for fun uh, it will now work if I hit F9. I also want to do hide regroove mixer. So let's go back in there. Hide regroove mixer. F9. Alright. Now when I hit F9, it shows and it hides. Another fun one you can do if you want more screen real estate, you can do the same thing with the transport. So window, hide transport, and window, show transport, we can set to F10. Hide transport. Forgot the R. F10. That worked. Now we're going to show transport via F10. All right. So 
those are my 10 tips. If you stuck around all the way to the end, I have another special surprise for you. You can control basically any parameter down here in the transport or anything on a device via your keyboard or your MIDI controller. Now, if you want to do that, I'll add that video up into the cards. Definitely check that out. It'll definitely, I say definitely a lot. It'll speed up your workflow tremendously. So do that. If you can, if you have the time, it will pay off in the long run. So definitely, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.